Hey there, my name's Yandra, and I just want to talk for a bit, especially after seeing some other YouTubers give their own thoughts, and a few people asked me about it. In this video, I want to go through my interactions with Aria Rose and some of my experiences with Mercy lately. During this week, Aria Rose organised a friendly, positive-only raid on the Blizzard forums. She made some videos about it that have since been deleted, and I guess some Discord posts too. I did watch the video organising it, and was just like, ugh. I think the forum raid was, to put it bluntly, fucking stupid. The whole positive only thing didn't sit well with me either, and it felt pretty passive aggressive to me personally. It's also still spam. I've heard people defend it by saying, well, at least they're doing something. Okay, well, tell me what that something is. To me, it felt like it was just making Mercy Mains appear less credible, more selfish, and just overall incoherent. Not to crank my own hog or anything, but earlier this week, I released a short Valkyrie guide, and I genuinely believe that sort of thing is way more constructive and helpful to the community. Anyway, as all of this went down, I got mentioned a few times and people talking to me, which made me want to revisit some of my interactions with Arya. Back in December, I made a video criticising the movement and some of her views. I do wish I had put more time into the video, which you can see by the massive 700 word pinned comment I added. That video got more attention than my normal stuff. There were hundreds of comments, some of which attacked Arya Rose personally. I was sloppy and hearted one or two. A few days later, someone showed this to Arya on Twitter, she made some posts about it and then blocked me. All of this happened while I was asleep, so I had no chance for input or to apologise. Once I woke up, people brought this to my attention, so I made a few tweets about it and just continued on. Since this, I have gone through the video and deleted comments that were personal attacks. There were two main comments I was criticised for liking, and I just kind of want to talk about them. The first was, hate Aria, love you. I'll admit, this one is pretty bad, and I've already apologised multiple times on stream and Twitter, but yeah, I am sorry, it was careless. At the time, I just didn't think much of it. I've never put that much weight into hearted YouTube comments. I didn't consider it a big deal. If someone left a comment saying, hate Neandra, love you to Arya, I honestly wouldn't care. However, I'm not the face of an online movement. I don't regularly get sent angry garbage from weirdos. So I understand that our perspectives towards a comment like that are completely different. I do sympathize with her. I know having so much pressure on her must be draining and I wish her the best mentally. The second comment was this, uh, Arya Rose is a detriment to the Mercy community, a lot of what she says is misinformed, uh, she deletes stuff when people disagree. Ah, uh, okay, um, calling Arya Rose a detriment to the Mercy community was harsh and unneeded at the time, although after the forum raid I kind of agree with it now. The second point about her being misinformed and unwilling to discuss things absolutely aligned with my experience when I researched for the video. I also don't think calling someone misinformed is toxic. If someone called me misinformed, and I did get a comment like that on my rework video, I would ask them why, because it's important to get perspectives from other people. This happened around Christmas and was the end of my interactions with Aria Rose until early January. Now, I don't quite have as many screenshots as I used to, so you may have to take my word for some of this, but I'll try to provide when possible. In early mid-January, I was streaming and someone in chat asked if I thought Aria Rose was boosted. This started a big, messy conversation in my Twitch chat and at some point I gave my thoughts. Do you think she's boosted? I have no idea and, you know, I don't want to falsely accuse anyone, so I would definitely say no. I guess someone told Aria about the first part and she made a tweet saying apparently Neandra said I was boosted. Well, as you can see I didn't, and people were quick to link the clips from my stream. Despite being given evidence almost immediately, she didn't remove the tweet until about two hours later, which felt a bit skeevy in my opinion. This also begs the question of, are there people out there watching my stream trying to make me look bad? Because, uh, I, I do that myself. The Andrea fairy confirmed, please, please stop accusing me of being a fairy. I would like to officially go on record and say I do not have a fursona. Fairy genitals are weird. It's just Rouge the Bat got big titty. Anyway, this conversation then sparked a dumb little drama war on Twitter. That night, a lot of people who were vaguely positive or defending of me were blocked by Arya. Soon, the hearted comments were brought up again, which wouldn't have been necessary if the situation was dealt with when it happened. Look at this conversation. This is where things started to get iffy to me. It's pretty obvious that Arya never actually watched my video, but I don't think it was negative. I had criticisms, which I'm entitled to, and I tried really hard to consider both sides. If you feel I did a poor job, feel free to actually let me know why, instead of just brushing it off. Arya and some of her fans then suggested I join her Discord for conversation. This sat really poorly with me. 
Like, to be the one that originally denied me conversation, then suggest we talk in a place that's going to be full of people on her side who probably think pretty poorly of me. Like, that's definitely weird, right? Like, that's not just me. I know I looked flaky by saying, no, I don't want to do this, but I felt like I shouldn't have to. If Arya wasn't going to accept my apology on Twitter, why would being in her Discord make a difference? Another thing brought up was how I didn't even have to make the video in the first place, or how I made it without talking to her first. I made that video because people kept asking my thoughts on it, and as I said, it felt like people in the movement weren't interested in criticism, which made me uneasy about talking to her. This honestly peeves me a little. I don't need someone's permission to make a critique video. Late into this mess, Aria actually unblocked me. It was around 7am UK time and I was ill, so I told her I'd send her a message once I woke up. I wrote up a quick draft and showed my Discord, vomited violently, and fell asleep. When I woke up, I saw that Aria's Twitter account had been deleted. A day or two later, the account was reinstated and I was reblocked, and have been ever since. Apparently, she has made a tweet where she apologised for calling me a shady asshole, and apparently criticised me for not acknowledging her apology. Which is very funny if true, because geez, I wonder how I missed it. She also criticised me for saying that Rework Mercy is not interested in criticism. As I've said, that's just my personal opinion after doing my own research, but I know it is a pretty big generalisation. There definitely are people in the movement who are interested in conversation and alternative opinions, but I do not believe for a second that Arya is one of those people. Arya criticised me and others over using her for clout, which kind of makes me feel like she just doesn't get it. She's the face of a movement with a huge amount of followers. People aren't criticising her for clout. They are doing it to bring attention to her questionable decisions or opinions they simply don't agree with. I will admit I didn't have to use her name in my video title, but as I said earlier, I felt like the movement wasn't interested in criticism, and I thought it was important to try to connect with her fans. Also, if I wanted clout, I'd upload a video with big badonk donks in the thumbnail and talk shit about a cosplayer. So yeah, that's basically the end of it. I consider these interactions very bizarre, quite honestly, and being blocked by her is fine because I have absolutely no intention of ever revisiting this topic. Before I go, I want to quickly talk about some other stuff. In the last few weeks, I've been streaming alt account competitive and I've climbed from 2700 to 3200. I'm actually pretty surprised that most people who are supportive of Rework Mercy are in mid ranks because I personally feel she's fine here. In GM and Masters, GOAT is extremely popular and a team comp Mercy doesn't fit into. In low diamonds and below, team comps are almost always some form of two tanks, two healers and two DPS, which Mercy works pretty well with. I was also very surprised to see just how little Mercy is picked. The enemy team almost always ran Anna and sometimes Moira. I don't know how to say this without sounding harsh, but Diamond to Plat Annas are, um, they're not the most consistent bunch. Not trying to be mean, it's just, it's so frustrating to die because your teammate missed a shot on you. One thing I noticed a long time ago is that players at mid-tier ranks may repeat pro player opinions without giving their own thought to it, or knowing exactly why they think that way. I feel like this might be the reason why Mercy was picked less than expected. People have this perspective that she's trash, even though it's so easy to get consistent value from her. And that's all from me this time, thank you so much for watching, and sorry if you don't fucking care about it.